Hi guys, Elmer, your fire protection guy. Just a quick one. All right, we have a maintenance fault on an AMPA Firefinder fire system. Okay, when I look at it, the detector is a little bit rusty. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the base. The tub is numbering tub. That's the address. Tub is okay and there's nothing wrong with it. Normally, when you're replacing a detector, might as well replace the tub because once you install the, the, the new detector you're going to have a fault on the actual numbering sometimes it becomes duplicate to another number so might as well replace the tub in this case i don't have a replacement I will, but i'm going to be very careful when i install this detector so if you want to reuse the existing detector and just clean it you have to play with the numberings all right because sometimes it stops Right, but I have a new one, a replacement new one, so I will install it and done, easy. And I'll show you downstairs on how to reset the maintenance fault. After the replacement of the detector, you still have that maintenance fault isolated. If you press reset, let's see if that will clear, it stays the same. The only way for you to reset that is to reboot the whole system this one the main board just press the reset button here there's a reset button there so press that the big noise and start to trigger a rebooting all right so we're going to check and the system will be and that particular detector no maintenance bolt will be reset automatically so it's initialization all right but don't forget always make sure that your ASE is on a test mode or isolated. All right, we're just waiting. After rebooting, we have a missing fault that came up, S30, a thermal detector. Conservatory bar area. We're going to search for that as well. But let's check what the other detector, let's say loop two, sensor one, display, that's the detector that we have replaced. Uh, display it's normal now and isolated we de-isolate that by pressing this de-isolation button de-isolate so that one is clear now the only one we have right now is that missing fault we're going to fix that as well the best option you have since you don't have a black plan in this building is to activate the next detector beside it so you will find the 31 all right, so let's go to the next one, which is 31. It's normal. We can activate that. The AS is still isolated. And then let's activate that particular detector. Going to the test mode, press test, alarm, sensor, loop one, enter detector 31, and then let's activate. Sorry, activate. Okay, we're still okay there. All right. We got an activation for that particular detector. We're going to search for it. Okay, we got detector 31 there. So my assumption, that will be detector 30. We have spotted detector 30. Good thing it has a number, so we are correct, 30. And the one that we have activated is 31 there, all right? Okay, let's remove this detector. Let's see what's the problem. Okay, looks okay. The numbering is 430, mm -hmm, that's fine. Okay, looks check for corrosion and then you have to just play with it. Play, play. Okay, that's how you play with it so you can have a good contact and let's go back to the fire panel missing fault still exists we try to replace the detector okay so this is an XP 95 thermal detector big difference with discovery that one is a discovery that is a XP 95 so we're going to install this discovery one all right and put it here now why do you install discovery detector here because there's a copy machine here that produces steam. All right, okay, let's go back to the fire system. 
Unluckily, I cannot resolve the problem because I don't have a spare detector. So I need the discovery detector. XP95 does not work. If I put this old one, all right, that's the old XP uh, discovery. There are lots of discovery here. There's another one here. They're having some problem. So it's best for me to come back and fix that problem. The problem with this kind of the uh, bus system is the only thing you can do is just isolate that particular detector. Okay? Not like the Petronics, I can delete that temporarily. When I return, I can resurrect that. So for the meantime, until you haven't fixed the problem, you have to isolate that detector and it will buzz every eight hours, okay? So that is the detector. It's vacant for a while until I get a new thermal detector discovery. Okay, sorry I was not able to fix that today, but definitely once I got a new one, I'll put it in with a new tub, everything will be good. This is Elmer, your fire protection guy. See you next time.